In this video, I show you how to use digital multimeter to identify the emitter and the collector of a transistor. We are going to measure the resistance between the base and the emitter, and then the base and the collector. The emitter has higher resistance than collector. Step number one, change the multimeter to the ohm meter mode. Next, connect a probe to the base. The other probe connects to one of other two pins. It shows a resistance of 5.92 mega ohm. Leave the negative probe unchanged. Put the positive probe to the upper pin. The meter gives a reading of 7.14 mega ohm resistance. Since the base and the top pin has higher resistance, the upper pin is emitter, and the lower pin is collector. This is how we use the digital multimeter to identify emitter and then collector of a transistor. The branch with higher resistance is the emitter side. The branch with lower resistance is the collector side. This method applies for NPN and PMP transistors. And notice that if you swap the probes, the positive probe connect to the base, the negative probe connect to the upper pin of the transistor. There is no reading of the resistance, because we are trying to measure this resistance, but the diode is in the reverse bias. 